my channel today you're going to be meeting someone a very special husband hello <laughs> say hello to everybody by the way husband youtube youtube husband <laughs> so of course all you guys know my name is Adia my name is Yusuf yeah um, obviously everyone's done the husband tag a lot of times on YouTube. This is our first time we're actually doing a sit down video. So we just thought that we'll just go through some questions that we've just found on the internet and just answer them in our own way really. And of course if you guys have any like um, personal, not personal but if you guys are wondering even more questions that are not already on the ones we've answered then we can always just do like a question and answer video together, right? Yep. Yeah. So. That can be just a whole new video, another video in itself. So I've got the videos here on my phone and we'll just go through them and see like, if we can actually answer them. Mm. Yeah? Okay. Alright, so number one, where did we meet? Where did we meet? Well, we met in um, Humboldt, which is in, 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 in Boston, in the park. So. Oh, you tell the story. <laughs> oh, you want me to tell a story? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so basically, long story short, it sounds really cheesy, but it's like a very this generation kind of story. Like, we kind of saw each other vaguely on the internet, but we didn't exactly talk to each other. We just like, I liked his pictures, he liked my pictures. So basically, what happened is just like... what's going on, like, you know, like, so I like pictures. I've, basically, I, I don't on, on Instagram, then she, then she followed, followed back, and then what happened is... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I liked... Basically, I like all the pictures. Like all of them, literally, even like the eighty-three week ago pictures, yeah, those ones. You know, you know things are about to go down if someone has written, if someone's like <laughs> your eighty-three week old pictures. <laughs> so I like all the pictures, and then she sliding into my DM. No, I didn't slide into his DM. I was thinking about listen, something's going on. Well, I don't know if you want to call it sliding to the DMs. You guys let us know. But I mean, if someone, if someone actually came like. Onto your, onto your page and started liking all your pictures. I was just a bit curious. I thought, listen, I need to pop up to this guy and just ask him, like, what's going on? Yeah, so basically, okay. she, she slid into my DM. No, no, no. And then. But the thing is, it was just a normal conversation. Yeah, and then we had no, no conversation, non conversation. And then. And then, then, um, and then uh, she added me on Facebook and started talking because obviously we're going to be using Facebook more than Instagram. And then she asked for my number, so I got my number, so I talk him, talk and talk him, and then... And I then I say really? That's it, and then we started meet, meeting rarely, whenever, whenever like, but we're both free. Yeah. No, I'm not <laughs> yeah. I mean, we could always do another video on how we met, like, properly, in proper insight, and proper in detail, so you guys let us know about that as well if you want us to do that. But really, we just started talking online, and then we just kind of met up, you know, and then as we started talking, I, you know, I started learning that this is actually a really small world, and we just knew people already, really, in it. But yeah, um, where was our first date? I remember. Heavenly dessert. <laughs> okay, so for anyone that's not in the UK, it's a really nice dessert place, and it's like branched out in different cities. Um, and the one, like, I don't have any desserts is literally like two minutes across the road, so like in the middle of the night if we wanted to have any desserts, but not yes. middle of the night because it's closed. But waffles. Like, yeah, waffles, Sundays, oh, it was so nice, but yeah, I remember um, you kind of nearly spit your hot chocolate, and there was me like being a typical girl, going, oh, yeah, you got a little bit there, do you remember that? Yep. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I remember that, yeah, that was our first date, it was a dessert place. So there's me scoffing my mouth with a big waffle on our first date. Mm. <laughs> but um, what was your first impression of me? Your personality. Yeah, but what was it like? What was your reaction to uh, me? I, I, I think I think what what I really liked was um your smiles and, and your giggles. Mm. That's what like. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what got my attention and that's what got me soft. And this is a husband type, I'm gonna answer it anyway. Mine was your eyes. Obviously green eyes. Oh, shut up, well. shut no up, yeah. the green eyes. <laughs> Aww, you said my smile and my giggle. Thank you. Mm. Um a weird habit of each other. 
Oh, and I'm gonna need to move. Oh, weird habit of each other. Weird habits. Anything. No, not anything. So okay, then anything. Okay, your 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 weird habit. Yeah. Weird habit, not bad habit. Weird habit. There's so many. Hey. <laughs> There's lots. I think it's just cleaning, like well, any small mess, like if any sort of small mess, you have, you have to clean it and actually get to it with something you can literally clean up like a few hours later or something. Because I just feel like if I go to sleep without cleaning something, then it's going to be on my mind and I won't be able to sleep properly. I don't know if that's anyone else, but it's just, I don't know if, you know, people say it's not an OCD thing, some other people say it is, but... I don't know. You're right. Yeah, I guess I do clean a lot. So what's but that But it's one? good. Um. My hair. Why are you trying to put my head? I don't know. You have. I was. I was. I wasn't gonna say that, but yeah, that could be one. Yeah, because he he's always touching his hair. I mean, he's got a perm recently, but before, oh my god, he's just constantly doing this. With his like, would you know, like with the little fringe thing here. And he's a big strand there, he's big. And he'd be doing this, and then we doing this with his beard. Like, listen, babe, it's fine. <laughs> but I mean, it might just be a man thing. I don't know, obviously, I don't. Eh? Be cool, be cool, be cool. I just have to do that. Is right? that what you do to your beard? Yeah. Is that what you do to your beard? <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go to the next question. Right um, what pisses you off? So, this is me to you. What pisses you off? I think people that just go on and on and on and on about the same thing. Like, uh, for example, if someone just kept saying to him, um, you need to do this. Okay, uh, Yusuf, you need to go and do this. Okay, Yusuf, you need to go and do this. Like, I think that would annoy you the most. Like, you'd just be thinking, okay, I get the point. Like, you stop pissing me off now. I'm going to go and do mm -hmm. it. Um, I think that's one really big thing that pisses you off. Or maybe, like, when you know you're treated differently to other people yeah. like you would rather be treated f not rather but i mean anyone would want to be treated fairly yeah. you hate being treated like differently to anyone else and i don't blame you i don't you know anyone out there if you're being treated unfairly do not take it seriously but i know what you, i know there's some certain times there's certain situations where you just can't really do much and you kind of just go along with it but i know what you mean by i mean not i know what you mean but i know how it feels like if you you know, if you're gonna get treated like that, then yeah. I think that's one thing that really annoys you if you get treated differently to someone else. Like, for example, if you're in a queue yeah. and they get put first before you, you're like, wait a second, I waited my turn or whatever. Yeah, is that, am I right? Yeah. I know you so well, like, <laughs> bye. Hmm. Um, favorite feature about each other? <laughs> Features. I think, um,. My favorite features of yours is it's your smile. <laughs> you think? Mind your eyes. I said that. Yeah, yeah. Like, Mashallah. Hey, hey. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. I'd say your eyes. Not that I don't like anything else, but your eyes. It's your eyes. Um. Oh. What do we argue about the most? <laughs> no, seriously, what do you argue about the most? Okay, I'll say mine first. I think that. Um, <laughs> no, honestly, no. I think that you know when it's like like Yusuf said. You know when it comes to oh, I need to clean everything ASAP. Uh, if I want to clean it, but then you know Yusuf just kind of you know as a, just no anyone does it. It's not just for men. I'm not being sexist here. Even women, we do it. You know when you're really tired and you just dump something on the side, for example, like I don't know, like you're wearing a nabaya or you're wearing a, a pajamas or something, and you just put it onto I don't know the, the hook or something at the back of the door. Instead of putting it there, you're just gonna whack it on the floor. It's or something. like it's, 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 it's like it's, 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 it's basically like women. If they, if they see something dirty, they'll clean it straight away, which a guy would clean it like later on a few hours later yeah the next i day. mean and then i don't know if there, there must be guys out there that really want to clean it as soon as they can as well mm -hmm. but i'm guessing like you're trying to say that the majority of the guys that just leave it and just do it they leave they want, it they leave it and, and then they probably do it like whenever 
the one to whereas I feel as though when it comes to me wanting to clean and Yusuf being in a mood where he wants to do it whenever he wants that's when it starts like that's when I start doing the thing that he hates the most you know me saying do can you do this can you do this can you do this even though he knows he's gonna do it anyway and then I'll get annoyed because I want it doing <laughs> but I'm just guessing it's typical I, I mean I don't think it's like something major like I'm that's the class I'll, 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 I'll get a whole, a whole list no 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 I do no you don't no, you don't. Are you I do. Lying? I do. Okay, if he says so. But I'm not bad. I don't cheat you the bad. No. Uh, yeah. Okay. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> um, <laughs> nicknames for each other. <laughs> but a boy needs. Um, don't ask us why. That sounds weird, boy. Yeah. No, but I don't know, it was just like some random words. Boo Barney, I don't even know what that means, but we say boo or boo boo. I know boo is it's normal, but we always say boo boo. Um, family name, family nickname is Yu Yu, so I hardly call you Yu Yu. Yeah. Uh, and I hardly call him by his name because we just normally just say baby or babe. Um, but and, 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 and then uh, our parents would, would call her Gully. Yeah, that's my family nickname. My family name is Gully or um, Banu or. Barnaby, but mainly Gully. Um, but that's my family nicknames. This is just a nicknames for each other. It's yeah. be, mainly it'd just be Baby or Bully Barney, or that's it really. Mm. Yeah, because like I said, I hardly call him by his name unless you know, if we're in a family gathering and I have to say your name. Mm. Like you saw, Sorry. it's just so weird though, isn't it? <laughs> it's really calling each other like calling each other each other's names. Yeah. Um, what is one food I do not like? Well, well, I think like vegetable, but I don't know, like broccoli or something. Yeah. I love broccoli. Oh shit! <laughs> I love broccoli. You, you've always told me you don't like broccoli. No, I've always said I don't like broccoli. I mean, I've always said I like broccoli, but there's something that's like broccoli that I don't like. It's like in the same family, and it's white, and it's just a fart. Why racist for white? No, 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 I'm not being racist. I'm joking. Oh, right, but no, but what, like. How many you don't know? <laughs> well, one food that I don't like. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't like cabbage. I don't like cauliflower. I certainly don't like sardines much. I'll eat it if it's there, but they're very, very smelly. What else do I not like? I'm not really a fussy eater, do you get me? It depends how it's cooked. I like aubergine, but I don't like it cooked in like an Indian dish. I like it cooked mm. when it's like That's roasted or grilled or something mm. like that. That's why I couldn't think of any because obviously you're not really a fussy, fussy person. Yeah, you know, but cauliflower and cabbage I absolutely hate. Unless cabbage is like in like <sighs> chow mein. You know how you have like shredded cabbage? And roast dinner. Like stuff like that. Oh, I'm not even yeah, but Rusna has all, all, Cup, all the yeah, stuff. Yeah, all the stuff done, yeah, true. But, um... What about food, which I don't like? You don't like mint chocolates, I know that. Yeah. Like mint, like after eights or mint polos, he'll absolutely hate. Uh, you don't really like uh, yogurts with bits in it. Um, you don't like... Actual food, wait. I I eat anything in it. Me too, innit? I don't I don't I don't hate any, any food. No, there's something you don't really like, and I remember saying, "Oh, let's get this," and we were all doing something. You're like, I don't like that. Oh my god! It was on a pizza or something. You're like, I oh, know. Well, lastly, me pizzas that I mostly like. Don't know. That like, don't know like, any, like meat stuff yeah. and, and then that, that seafood stuff. I don't like. Before the Haram police start, this is for any halal places, not Domino's and Pizza Hut, because obviously we can't put meat on that pizza. I'm just letting them know, yeah, so. We've got to let you guys know we are not that. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No. I keep fidgeting. Right, um, what size of shoe do I wear? Six. Yeah, yeah. Wide. Yeah, I'm wide foot. <laughs> 
But I've got my little dinosaur socks on right now, so you can't exactly. <laughs> you can't exactly see. But yeah. Um, oh, your shoe size is size 10. 10, 10 to 10 and a half. Because I'm supposed to move the half. <laughs> 10 to 10 and a half? Yeah. Okay. okay um, what is my favorite restaurant? Okay, right, guys. What is my favorite restaurant? Wagga Wagga Mass. So, do I order from there? I don't know because the like, last time we went was like a year ago. Yeah, guys, he doesn't like welcome moments. Like, he's been once and he ordered a broth. So, I said, but why don't you try going for something different and trying it again? Because I love it. I love their raw juices. It's so nice and so tasty. But no. For some reason, he doesn't want to. I don't understand why he wouldn't want to. Welcome moments is amazing. Don't taste like nothing. It doesn't look taste nice at all. Put half a star on it, man. <gasps> Don't say that. <laughs> um. Do we have any traditions, me and you? Like, do we have anything that we have to do together? Well, I, th I think when we like go out to places, mm. like we both have to like. I know it's like, like no, not not one. We both have to like dress up smartly. Definitely. We, we always have to like, make sure that my hair's all done nice, and and obviously her makeup's done perfectly, and all is just smartly all the time. We always have to do it all the time when we go out. Yeah, because I know right now I seem quite casual, but I'm wearing jeans rather than leggings for this, and then hopefully when we go out later, inshallah, I'll be wearing trainers. So I will be casual, but I'll. Have I'd be smart at the same time, I think, with my jacket and stuff. So, yeah, you're right, definitely. Um, <coughs> do you want to? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's another habit he's got. <coughs> but I'm not doing nothing. Where's the. Okay, wait. Um, who wears the pants in the relationship? <laughs> Me. <laughs> Me. Okay. No, <laughs> who wears the pants in the relationship? <laughs> <laughs> I say we both do. We both wear the pants of relationship. We both listen to each other. We both understand each other. We both care about each other. Basically, it's all equal, isn't it? Yeah, it has to be equal. Like I feel like in a marriage, it has to be equal. We're not like, like we're not from the fifties, sixties when when, when 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 the men have to do everything and the women are at home doing nothing. Exactly. Like I feel like. I feel like asking that question is um, it's not it's not modern I mean, enough for this like, day and age. In this era, it's all equal. Men and women all should do things equal. No, but seriously, that I do feel feel as though like when it comes to the the pants and the relationship, you know, the men and women have to help each other out, and especially even in Islam, you know, like for the man, you know, they say that you know men has to go have to go and provide for the women, and I understand all of that. But in this day and age, you know, it can be quite hard for the man, just for the man to go. I mean, obviously, I put my hands up to all the, you know, full-time moms and, and people that can't go out to work. I can understand that. But I mean, for the women that are out there and are actually independent, I like, I've, obviously, I'm not wearing a hat. But if I was, I'd take my hat off to you because, you know, it is hard, you know, being that woman, going home, you know, doing, you know, your, you know, the cooking and cleaning and, and all of that. Like I put my hands up to you, but for the men as well, like I'll put my hat, hat well, obviously if I was on a hat again, I take my hat off to you guys as well because at the end of the day, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. You have a lot more responsibility, especially when you get married. As long as you help each other out, you're just making it easier for you and your spouse. That's what I'd say, definitely. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I know it's a bit chatty and, and a little bit giggly and everything, but I hope you got in a bit more of an insight of me and yourself and of course if you want us to do the other question and answer video then do let us know of me and the husband and of course if you want any other um, videos to do with like the marriage tips or we spoke about something else actually that we said we could do another video on I'm not sure I'll go back to the I'll I go back to the video I, I think it was um we said we could do a video of, of if anyone wants us to give them our like marriage tips. Oh yeah, marriage tips. Yeah, yeah, marriage tips. Marriage tips, and I also like also they were including the marriage tips like because some people have have uh, problems like with like the parents or like 
would, would he or she accept me and all yeah, that or, example, yeah. or like different culture backgrounds yeah. or or because or he hasn't got a good job or he will he, 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 he or go for him because he, he like he, he owns like loads or loads loads of loads, loads of money yeah i mean so we, we will also make a video on that as well so definitely yeah <laughs> definitely we will do that um you know oh yeah and the video of where we said that if you want a better insight on how we met yeah. the truth about how we met and how we you know how it all unfolded to where we are now then we will definitely you know yeah. we'll put that up there that'll be fun yeah it will be fun guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed being on the channel today yeah thank you so channel so make sure you share this video, subscribe it, and tell all your friends and families. And like it. Thumbs it up. Thumbs it up. Is that right? Thumbs it up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Is that thumbs up a drink? It's an Indian drink. Your pe my people from India, I'm telling you, I swear there's a drink called thumbs up. It is thumbs up. I'm going to have to Google this. It has to be thumbs up. One second, guys. It has to be thumbs up. She should probably be thumbs. seven up. No, no, no. Seriously, I think there's a thumbs up drink. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. So that's what they were gonna bring me for my days. Thumbs up is loaded. Oh my god, this is so slow. Oh yes, thumbs up, guys. Look, thumbs up, thumbs up. It's actually a drink. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, sorry guys. Yeah, thumbs it up. Like and subscribe, like the husband said, and like yeah, share the video if you guys can. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate. It. You are subscribing and you all just commenting and just giving me the love. Thank you so much. And until next time, you take care. See you later.